Okay, Nomies, I've got a We Roll Silver Eagle uh, 6x12 with the three windows in the front. There seems to be a lot of concern about the front windows maybe breaking out, going down the highway and catching a rock. I've actually seen some pictures on the Facebook groups of people that have lost windows, so uh, people have discussed different types of fixes. This is something I heard about last year and actually started on these windows uh, last summer. Didn't get them, or maybe this winter. Didn't get them all done, but I'll show you what's worked pretty well for me so far. This is what they're going to actually look like. These are window covers. This one here is not done yet. I'm going to make that one and show you how to do it. Show you how I do it. But first of all, let me show you what these are. So these are an, ac an acrylic cover that I cut out. Framed them in black duct tape and hold to the trailer with some of this 100 mile an hour duct tape. They're really strong. Uh, they're clear. And they can come off for cleaning. I just leave them on until they get really dirty. And they push back on like that. So that's all there is to it. I am going to take this one off to use it as a template to make some more. So this is my acrylic sheet that I picked up at Lowe's. Um, as you can see, this particular sheet is 28 by 30, 0 0.080 inch. It's made by optics. It's 10 times stronger than glass, non-yellowing, lightweight, shatter resistant, safety glazing, and you can trim it to size with a plastic cutting knife. Okay, so the tools I actually use, this is the plastic cutting knife. Use some bandage scissors to cut the tape and Velcro, Sharpie. This is some of that 100 mile an hour Velcro right there. Now I've taken uh, several trips with this and haven't ever thought about uh, the window coverings even coming loose. They they were been on there real tight. Uh, I don't think it's an issue with them coming off anywhere unless you really tug at them. And then there's some duct tape right there, the black Gorilla tape that I'll use to outline the windows. Okay, using my other window, I outlined it on the acrylic, and now I'm going to cut it out. So I'm unable to show you, so I'm working by myself, but essentially you score this with your knife, and then you take it to an edge and it snaps and breaks in place. I'll show you on the other side. For the rounded ends, I just snapped them off. I scored them and then I snapped them off with a pair of pliers. Works pretty well. Okay, I've got the Velcro up on the window. Now to go do the cover. Okay, putting the duct tape trim on the window. Getting it on top and bottom. Okay, that's what it looks like with the duct tape trim on it. Now I'll show you how I do the Velcro. So yeah, I've got the Velcro attached to the camper. Now I'm going to take the window side and I'm going to attach it good and tight. Push those hooks in real tight, all the way around. It's called a 3M dual lock. It really, really 
that's tight. Now I'm going to peel the backing off. Just like that. Okay, right back with the window. All right, let's see what she looks like. Get her centered up on here. Voila. That's what it looks like. Now, I'll show you what it looks like from the inside on a cloudy day. All right. Looking out. Looking out on a cloudy day. Can't tell that there is even window covers on here, can you? All right. Okay, so advantages of using this acrylic is it's relatively inexpensive. I don't know exactly, but I figure I probably have between $100 and $125 in material. Uh, so it's cheap. Uh, you can see through them, so that's great. You don't have to take them off when you get in camp. Just leave them on. I think that uh, they'll, they're very strong and they'll, with, you know, they'll withstand a rock thrown at them or whatever. If they get scratched, you can just replace them. No biggie. Uh, they are shatterproof, so hopefully that they'll deflect any damage to the windows themselves without too much difficulty. Uh, disadvantage is when it rains, you know, it gets moisture in there and condensation and stuff like that. And then you have to wait for the sun to come out and kind of clear it of condensation. But you can always pull them off and clean, clean underneath them too. So uh, you have that going for you. I don't know how long that Velcro tape will last on there, but I'm expecting it'll last for several years. And like I said before, everything on it is easily replaced, so uh, I don't think they look too bad either. Feel free to comment below if, if you've ever done this or if you have any other ideas or suggestions that might help people out. Thanks.